Gentlemen, it's been a while since my last video. My time has been taken up with founding a new consulting business and getting everything set up. I'm also preparing for a new month-long trip to Thailand. I leave Australia on June 28th. I'm really looking forward to this trip as I'll be meeting up with a few of you as well as a few well-known Western expats in Thailand. If all goes as planned, I'll be doing a podcast with David Bonney from the Sky TV series Lady Boys. David's an interesting guy and I'm looking forward to our chat. I expect to also have time available to make a few pretender videos about my observations and my experiences in the land of smiles. Anyway, I wanted to share a few thoughts with you all before I take off from the Western world, as there have been some things happening in my life recently and in the lives of friends and fans of mine from this channel in which I've seen similarities, which I thought I would fill you in on. I've been a free man now since September 2012. The four-year mark is coming up fast. The past four years have been the very best of my life, by far but they have not been without problems, that's for sure. The biggest problems I've had have been for my social group, the people around me both in the workplace and for my old friends who knew me as the man that I was and not the man I am today. There's been some conflict, arguments, stress and problems in my life and most of these issues have come from my workmates, managers above me or from old friends who are living the life of a traditionalist in debt to the bank for a house, spending all their money on a mortgage, on a woman, on their kids. The men with no free time, no free energy, no peace of mind. The worst treatment I receive is from the hands of the married men in the office who, judging by the look in their eyes, have miserable, bitchy, moody, nagging wives. The men who fell hook, line and sinker to the lies they were told from their parents and from society at large, that happiness was living a life of servitude to others instead of them defining what happiness meant and then living that life for themselves. I represent the living embodiment of freedom and the loss of their freedom. There are only two honest married men at work who tell me the truth about their lives. They, and the only two I really respect, as they have the guts to tell it like it is, and to warn me not to do what they have done. I've essentially become a hated man. My actions, the way I talk about freedom and living life on my own terms, my refusal to comply with those around me, this causes problems. There's nothing more threatening than a truly free, independent man. What are the underlying reasons for this? Well, I'm an unshackled male. I'm not under control in my personal life. I don't give women any of my resources, neither time nor money. I'm not giving any woman emotional or financial security. People who cannot control you will hate you. The people in my workplace who especially hate me the most are the ones who want my compliance and are seeking to gain power over me, yet know that they will never have it. I'm much more widely read than they are, and I bring up feelings of fear, envy, insecurity, and hatred in them due to who I am and what I represent. What has essentially happened over the past four years is my values have changed, whilst the values of those around me have stayed the same, and in most cases, have strengthened. Spending significant time in Thailand surrounded by prostitutes, bar owners, Western expats, and others who are interested in living their lives on their own terms, has changed me. My heart and my mind has changed, and now I'm really stuck between two very different worlds and trying to live my life and adjust to the on-the-ground reality of both Thai and Australian societies. This is the most difficult part of my trips, especially the return to Australia, which is the biggest come-down ever. It's like coming off drugs without any kind of support. Going from king to servant is not an easy transition. It's really hard, and nobody has any sympathy for you. Why would they? After all, how dare you do the things you're doing overseas? Your place is here, as a worker, 
under control, a slave with a white collar. Just like in the movie Fight Club, I'm finding out more and more that I am not alone. There are more of you who, just like me, have been making these independent trips to Thailand, and you too are having similar problems in your personal and your professional lives. You report the same effects. You work in different industries to me. You do different things. You're surrounded by different people, and yet the effects are the same. You experience hostility from those around you because you're free and they are not. In many cases, the people in your life are trying to get you to conform, do what they are doing, and live your life in the same manner as they are. Your mindset, however, has changed due to your Thailand trips. You too have become disconnected from your society, its values, customs, and belief system. There is nothing the people around you want more than your compliance. But you're an outsider now. Your heart and your mind has been touched too deeply by the ties. You know that you don't have to live the life that was prescribed to you by your parents, by your society, and by others who have a hand in raising you. You can go off and do your own thing. These trips have awakened something inside of you, and you become much more in touch with your masculinity. This, of course, is a threat to those around you in the feminist-infested Western society. Look over there, a free man. He must be destroyed, lest he give other men dangerous ideas of living a life on their own terms and not doing what we want them to do for our benefit. Meetow men have to be very cautious and on guard as most of society is out to attack us. Men are desperate for sex, so that makes many men our enemies as they will do almost anything to get sex from women. Women want emotional and financial security, so you can't trust them either, and they won't like what you have to say, as the truth doesn't bring them any security, and is a threat to their agendas to manipulate men into a long-term sex for resources contract, otherwise known as commitment. Something they can see only too well that you understand and you want to avoid at all costs. Here's a story for you. I had a call recently from a very good friend who told me that his girlfriend doesn't like him hanging out with me. She essentially didn't like me due to what I had to say. Anyway, he told her he will associate with whoever he likes, and if she doesn't like it, then that's too bad for her. He is a man of principle, which is rare in this world. I came to realise after this happened, that it's not the ladyboy relationships that is at the heart of our association as men going their own way in Thailand, or our association with each other via this YouTube channel. It's freedom. It's non-conformity to Western societies, mostly women's, expectations of us, and the need to be ourselves and be true to our authentic selves. These are the things that we Western men who love Thailand all have in common. Women want to control us, and they realise that they can't do that, so we are a threat to them and the female collective. Therefore, we must be silenced, lest other men see what we are doing and become influenced by us. Leadership is influence, and having a media mouthpiece like a growing YouTube channel is a threat, especially when you start hanging out with people you have met via the channel. Each of you who contact me through my channel, the story is always the same. You want freedom and to be yourselves, and you can't get that in the Western relationships you're in or have experienced. Some stupid women think that we hate them, but that's not true. Our problem is we are hyper-aware of male and female nature, and we talk about it openly. Some of you are much younger than me, so you don't yet have the ability to fully outwardly articulate exactly what you're feeling due to the way you're being treated in Western society. This ability, I assure you, will come to you with time. Some of you, like myself, have been with ladyboys, and you see even more clearly the issues, and that can be very confronting. And, as my boss at work said to me recently, 
about my topics of interest. You're making people reevaluate their lives. Therein lies the problem. We are the glitches in the matrix, so to speak, gentlemen. We are the anomalies. If you think about it, I've experienced the ultimate Poindexter's revenge. The nerd, who was always an outsider, has come into his own, and I've been able to use this disconnection from the Western collective to my ultimate advantage. By not being defined by those around me, I've been able to go my own way and define for myself the life I wanted to live and the man I wanted to become. I feel lucky to have seen the Matrix for what it is, to have met the architect and found the exit door. I'm not the only anomaly. There are other Myers-Briggs INTJ Westerners in Thailand. Whilst we are rare, representing just 1% of the population, we are especially rare in Thailand. Rarity has value. I've seen opportunities in Thailand which I could engage in, which would bring me a lot of influence, but which could also ultimately lead to my demise or my incarceration. Big risks, big rewards, personally, but maybe not so much financially. I'd like to leave you with a personal anecdote. My ex fiance loved the Beyonce song, Single Ladies, Put a Ring on It. It became a sort of running joke between us. She was constantly on to me about getting engaged and putting a ring on her finger, but I was always hesitant. This week, something fascinating happened. A colourful friend of mine from Patea, who I spent the best New Year's Eve of my life with, was on Australian television and as a lead singer and dancer, I've provided the link to her performance in the video description. And guess what song she was singing and dancing to? There's something very satisfying about this. She never asked me to put a ring on her finger. Like myself, she loves her freedom far too much to ever do such a thing. Who would have thought that breaking up with my ex, going my own way to Thailand, experiencing the most incredible four years of my life, would bring me into contact? people like this. This life I've been living is so far removed from the monogamous, under control and manipulated man that I was, there's just no comparison. And there's no going back. Newton said, if I've seen further, then it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. A big thank you to the MGTOW giants who came before me, who have made such a large impact on my thinking and have contributed to the man I am today. Until next time, gentlemen, all the best. I'm The Pretender.